seasons change, you'll find you've got to put away uh, some of your sports gear and take out new sports gear because we're getting into the winter months. Mm -hmm. It might be skiing, it might be skating, it might be hockey, uh, mm -hmm. but you really have to think about how you're treating that gear. I remember once I went into, uh, we thought there was a dead mouse or something in right. the basement. Yep. And yep. it was Leo's sports equipment yep. in, in the bag, my husband. So we opened it up and I was like, whoa! Yeah, and people, and men take pride in their smell. They really? Yeah. Yeah. He was we, like, all right it. with it. He we, liked it. We think that in order for someone to stay away of, on us in a sporting event is for us to smell bad. Stink. So if we're playing hockey, if I stink worse, they're going to get away and I'll be able to get that breakaway. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That makes but, sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, we're a different so kind of people. Sense. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about it. It doesn't matter whether, uh, when we talked earlier on about moisture. So moisture, if it's kept in a bag, if it's kept, it doesn't matter whether it's ski gear, hockey gear, any gear. Yeah. That moisture is going to be the ability for bacteria to grow, for smell to happen, and for things to happen like this. So this equipment that's on here right now is my son uh, Gavin's equipment. Yep. Uh, a little shout out though, I got to give him a congrats. Oh, hey. Gavin, he's wow. a champion. There we go. Good boy. To the Pee Wee AE team out there, that I, and I'm gonna say they got a good coach. Him. Um, <laughs> so first off, there are things that are easy to clean when you put right in the, into a washing machine. Right? Totally. So yeah. So uh, this is a practice jersey. You got his undergarment that's there, his socks as well. Yeah. Those are all things that no problem that we can put into a washing machine. Mm -hmm. There's some larger gear that's out there that's really difficult that you may be concerned whether you're gonna put them into a washing machine. Those are yes. his pants that are right there. So let's just say that you're, you, it's too clunky, especially if you're, it's adult gear. Yep. One of the things that you can do, uh, is this is so simple, is we're going to take three cups of baking soda. Okay. We're going to fill this garbage can up with water. Right. And then this becomes our little bath. Oh. And we go in and we just use that yes. as our bath. Yes. And then we hang these to dry. Yeah. The baking soda will help to uh, kind of clean everything up, freshen it up, make it smell good, just like it makes your fridge smell good. Yes. It's going to make your hockey equipment smell good and your sporting equipment as well. What a great idea. So just have that, you know, ready to go. Uh, fill it up with water in your baking soda and all those big pieces, the big clunky pieces, wash them. Yeah, because you can go to Dump many them. sporting goods stores and they'll, pay, they'll charge you yes. to clean the gear. Oh, really? And a lot of times it can be very expensive. A lot of times they're heat treating it, so yeah. they're actually putting it in and raising that temperature up. Mm -hmm. And by raising the temperature up, you kill all the different things that are on that. Right. I want to show you that. Uh, so, for instance, just last weekend, this is my son, uh, Matheson. Uh, it was a warm weekend, and we can, if we go really close onto the white that's there, you can actually see that there is some mold that developed because they played all weekend long, and this stayed in the car in the bag and so the question is what do you do now yes so you want to do some baking soda okay you want to make sure they have vinegar and water yep. and then you're just going to spray it over that area these are the stars of the show today it's the, all uh, about the vinegar and the baking soda really and the water is, like know, that's what it all comes, more of a spray form. comes down to it's going to clean by, almost anything and by doing that we're going to get rid of that bacteria we're going to take care of that but we want to kind of w spray it over let it soak in a little bit mm -hmm. and then hang it up to dry yes um this is your child you, yeah. don't, you don't want mold or bacteria. That's right by his neck. That's right. Right? So you want to clean it. This is shoulder pads. They're easy to uh, put into the washing machine as well. Okay. Uh, gloves. Smell those gloves. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh. oh, it's almost wow. like cheese. <laughs> And he's 11. Imagine oh when he's going to be 16. Yes. Imagine when Gavin's 16. Oh, I have to do it again. I don't know why. I know. <laughs> so, I know. Um, what you can do for gloves. Oh. Little air freshener. Yeah. You can just stick it in. Is that what the, you do? You can. You're such this a is, boy. No, this is a tip that I saw. Yeah. On, uh, on YouTube, and I've actually tested it out. Okay. So when you go to dry your gloves, just put air fresheners in the palms. It'll actually keep the it's gloves. It's already better. Yeah. <laughs> you can, isn't it amazing? It's amazing. But as a player, as a hockey player, mm -hmm. there's nothing like going for dinner after a game and you go to do that first bite. <laughs> and you're like, whoa! What a yes, smell! Geez. So yeah, gross. so that's just a couple tips that are out there, but the key is dry, dry, dry. Yes. Um, watch out for the bacteria. Um, make sure that you're always, and the number one rule, number one rule with any sporting equipment after you finish that game, come back, air dry it. Don't Hang it up, wet. dry it out, yes. and have a dedicated room in your home that you can close the door. <laughs> Let's be real, right? Yeah. Make sure every, nothing is going uh, wet, which is, which is the most important thing. Yeah. All of this great uh, organization uh, from IKEA, and yeah. I think that it's good because 
a couple of things. This is not going to cost you a lot of money. Baking soda and vinegar is not going to cost you yeah. a lot of money. So we're always thinking about your wallet on this show. But it's this? the natural way to do it. Yeah, cost this stuff will cost you money. money. <laughs> so make sure you're cleaning it all the time.